All right, so we're at uh, 1964 years over here at the Seattle Meet. So this is uh, Dr. Stephen Ambrose, and this is Vitaly of 1964 years. So 1964 years recently, or last year rather, got their Adele module uh, Kickstarter campaign fully funded. So congratulations to you both. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit more about 1964 years and about the Adele technology? Yeah. I had to go there for help business and uh, it was an interesting time. Uh, rockets were exploding on my head. I, was, I discovered this new thing called the second air drum and it was in it connected and it Okay. You know, I wanted this in a product right away, so um, that's that's how I found Stephen. It was just uh, the way I looked at it, it was pure faith and it was to happen. <laughs> yeah. Now, my side of the story is that Adele was waiting for the <laughs> best sound signature sculptor in the whole world, which is that's how I realized. I have I've done business with all the industry majors. I was waiting for years. I started the in air monitors. I built the first in air monitors in 1965. 65, not 1964. Well, my first project was 64. Oh, okay. But I didn't so, actually get anything that you could use in 1965. In my defense, I was 13 years yeah. old. Oh, wow. Yeah. But Start early. <laughs> but I, I got a record deal, went to Hollywood. I fitted so what have you guys been doing? If you would get up on the piano, play harmonica, dance around the stage, and fall off the stage while the monitor uh, was screaming into the microphone, oh, back up, and he couldn't hear the video. So they were using my in-ear monitors to support me to get Star Trek to be all in the studio to see the mighty plants. And I filled both of them in on the impression machine, and he grabbed my arm and screamed, oh my god, I'm blind. Because he sees with his ears. So I hollowed him out, and I put monitors on the and plugged them into the studio feed, and the drummer kicked the kick drum. And some of the dust that was left from drilling it out shot out of the sound tube. Now that's not amusing, it's pneumatic pressure. And I was scared to death I was going to turn Stevie Boy into a early elevator. So the Adele technology that the Valley marries with the best sound system in the industry is what came out of that discovery that in-ear pressures are pneumatic unless they are either vented to the outside, which dumps all the bass and lets all the sound in, you can't use my stand, or you absorb them with a second ear drum that then seals the sound, but it acts like it's open. The highs and the wideness is like your open ear instead of you know, closed yeah, where your sound stage is So that's what the adult membrane does right over there. The, the A there on the little circle thing. All right, so that's 1964 years. Thank you very much. Just to mention that we have a range of models coming up that are incorporated in this technology. So I know we started with the 10 or 12, but we're working down the line to make sure that every uh, product that we sell has a bell in it. Okay. This, they just did, debuted the two threes and fours in Nashville now. To tremendous response. Yeah, I tried the A12 before and I thought they were really awesome. So, I look forward to seeing you. We, like, we like your video blog. Anytime, anything we can do for you. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 1964 years. Thank you very much.